Hey guys, Tubbs here, welcome to a brand new video, and welcome to season 15 of Exodus's brand new Skyblock map. Today, I'm going to show you some very helpful and useful tips to helping you get started on the brand new map. Okay, first things first, I want to go through. If you already have a rank on the server, you're going to be able to do slash kit, and you should definitely get your rank kit, whichever rank that you have. In the kit section as well, I wanted to mention it's super worth having the suits kit. This is in the bonus kit. You can unlock this kit by doing slash buy in game and go into the kit section and you'll see that the suits kit is 4.5k exo credits. If you go to store.exodusmc.org, you can use creator code TUBS to get yourself 10% off any purchase. To get a little head start on the new season, make sure to redeem code TUBS in game by doing forward slash redeem space TUBS. One of the biggest things to mention about starting out is using the slash zones command. This shows you loads of different areas that you can go to to do different tasks. I am now going to show you a five minute grind session at every single one of these zones, showing you how much I make within five minutes. So from fishing, we made 32 mil and we got a few random catches like these items right here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think fishing's the way unless you wanna be able to get some of these other items. And it doesn't help that my fishing rod has got no enchants or anything. So it's kind of like an unfair test, but I wanted to add it anyway. In five minutes, I've earned 314,267,700 dollars in just five minutes. I do want to show I do have a max pick. So in zone one, beginning of the map, in five minutes, you can make 314 million dollars plus i got all these spawners here and all of these crystals plus a fortune shard five minutes at the garden actually results in a slight more profit with 327 million four hundred and seven thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars again i would like to make it known that this is a maxed harvester hoe but that also does make the competition fair between the mining and the farming because I had a max tool for both. I also want to show that these are all of the different spawners we got from this farming trip. And we also got a load more crystals compared to mining. Okay, so we just need to cut down the trees and pumpkins. Pumpkins are giving 2.5 million per one. Jungle wood is giving 250,000 per one. And we of course can get some rocket keys and island crystals here. So let's get a five minute run going. We've earned $390.25 million. We have also got ourselves quite a lot of spawners here and quite a lot of crystals, including a crate. We got a crate, which is quite nice. I want to address as well, obviously, this is a maxed out axe completely thanks to the Sir Chris, so I appreciate the essence. Okay, so we've got $785 million from a five minute session at the very first Slayer Zone. These are all the different spawners that we got and the different crystals that we got from this session. And just to show you, my sword is very, very not maxed. This is what I wanted to show. You have a chance of literally getting a loot box drop from killing these guys as well. And I had to probably kill for an extra minute until I got my first one. It's the toxic spiders like this one right here. And it's a toxic pigmen that drop them. I'm going to address right now what you do with these crystals. All you need to do is go to the slash shop, go to the miscellaneous item section, and buy this crystal forge, which is $500 million. When you place it down, it's going to look like this. All you need to do is you can literally store the crystals and save up if you would like to, but if you have more than 12 of any type of crystal, which I don't believe we do right now, or we do, we do, Okay, so we'll take these three out of here. We'll go back in. And on the Crystal Forge side, you click to open this. And then you can either smell all of them or one 12 stack. So I'm going to do just all of them right now. And literally, if you get a success, then you'll notice that the Crystal levels, the middle number, will go up. And you can see that the majority of my island level is from these crystals. And you can see how many I have forged. Let's talk about spawners. If you go to the shop and go to the mob spawner section, you will see that there are different tiers for the mob spawners. 
So to unlock tier 2, you have a list of things to unlock them. 2,500 tier 1 kills, you need to harvest 5,000 wheat, and you need to mine 1,000 of lapis ore and coal ore. So the tier 1 kills is literally, you just need to kill 2,500 of any of these mobs. It can even be combined. Like you could do 1,000 cows, 1,000 pigs, and 500 sheep. The next thing is wheat. I've already addressed this in a previous video, but all you need to do is either use the zones command or slash warp garden. And in the garden is where you're able to harvest the wheat. And the final thing that you would need to do to unlock your next tier of spawners is come to this place, which is in the zones and the very first mining area. But literally, all you've got to do is come down here. And there you have it. There is the coal. And here is the lapis. Now, to be able to mine these different ores, you do have to level up your pickaxe. And the way you do that is simply just coming here to mine. Okay, so the dungeons have just become available and I really want to go into them. So, right now there's the normal dungeon, but then there's a new dungeon called Pirate Dungeon. So, I want to go have a look at the very first dungeon right now. Okay, here we- oh, hello. Okay, we're straight into it. We're straight into it. Okay. Okay. We're doing damage. We're doing damage, we're doing damage. Let's see if we can bow him. Oh, he's taking damage. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, he is not taking as much from my bow, so let's get in there with the sword. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got creeper spawners from him. Okay. Okay. Okay, so these guys... Oh, okay, so these guys have 50. And these guys have 30 health. Okay. Wait, there's ores here too. No way you can mine ores here. Oh my god, you can. Um, okay. I got a loot crate. I got a loot box. I got a loot box from them. Okay, that's a win. That's a win. We got another one. Oh my god, he's on a chicken. He's on a chicken. That's sick. No way he's on a chicken. No way he's on a chicken. That's awesome. I haven't seen this dungeon before. This is new. Okay, so in here we have a dungeon pirate captain. 50 health. And these are all the rewards. That's nice. A July loot box. This is a boss, which is 150. And they have some really good drops. Wow. 3 July or 5 Exodus loot boxes. All the money and stuff. And then this is a pirate ghost. Which, yeah, again, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, and loot boxes. Let's go. Loot boxes. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, there's a lot over there. There's... Oh, God. Okay, it's just pirates. We're okay. Ah, I lied. 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 Oh, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Come on. Yes, five boxes! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah, the captain ones are easy kills. Easy kills. I've just noticed that I've gone up a lot of money. Like, I've just noticed. Yeah, I didn't notice that we were getting so much money. Wow. I definitely need to get a Slayer Sword for in here instead of using a Kit Sword. Because the Slayer Sword will probably destroy these so much faster. Oh, it opens every three hours. Okay. So definitely keep a note of that. Every three hours, the dungeon opens. So we got some amazing rewards right there. We got all these different crystals. We got all these spawners. I got a couple of these from doing the mining in the very first dungeon. And we got ten loot boxes. But yeah, that's the dungeons. They're great. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Drop a follow. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.